Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Axiom Verge 2 tonight. So, the story so far, as we know it, is uh, we went to Antarctica. We went down a weird freight elevator into some bizarre parallel universe or whatever. Um, got infected by nanomachines, so we were a weird cyborg human nanomachine composite of some description. Subsequently got our body stolen, um, and we were left in a weird tiny nanomachine thing. And now we have gotten our body sort of back, but we are mostly nanomachines. So, uh, that's how things stand. Um, we need to make our way down to whatever coordinate that is, 44 whatevers. Um, and I don't think we can do it from here because we tried that and it was all blocked off, but we can go check again, I suppose, just to be sure. Uh, so we can turn into a little tiny, little tiny robot. Um, we can climb as our nanomachine human hybrid thing. Um, we can't really move all that fast. We've got a couple weapons. Um, yeah, okay, I need to go this way anyways. Um, I suppose if this doesn't work out to where we're going, we can try to follow our little lapis lazuli compass in the bottom left there. Maybe pick up some more abilities or, or upgrades or whatever and see what we can see, right? Like that's a, that's a thing we might be able to do. Alright, so here's this thing, right? But we can't get down anywhere unless... Unless, if we do this, like, we've got, like, a little pseudo-screw attack thingy with our little, our little tiny man. Um, but, uh, it doesn't seem to really help all that much here, unfortunately. Just now. Oh! Oh, shit! We can destroy... Oh. <laughs> it's like, we can destroy life! That's kind of problematic. I want it to be lit up so we can see what we're doing. Is that just gonna respawn him? It does not. That's unfortunate. Um, okay. Well, I would like to go down here, but we cannot. That is all blocked up. Nothing is uh, destructible over on this side, so I guess what's our next play here? I guess we could try to fall down a little bit and go down there and see if we can uh, find anything more down below. I do like that we can morph on morph on the fly. That's neat. That's very good. Just hardly lose a... Hardly lose a beat there. Uh, oh, right. Um, oh, are we light enough as a little tiny bot to cross this thing without falling, maybe? Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's a path here. Oh, wait, we've been here before. There was something back here, wasn't there? There was like a, it's like some health or, or something that we already got. Okay, never mind. This was a waste of time. Oh, well. Oh, well. Kind of hoping we could maybe find our way around here somewhere. There might have been a boss fight up here, actually. Uh, memory doesn't always serve properly, so... Might have been a boss fight up there. Might not have been. Who can even tell? Uh, we do have a quick travel thing to our checkpoints, right? So we should... Just, let's just start with that. Let's start with that, and we'll see where we can go. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. Oh, right. Have we shown the actual flesh and blood humans our new, less human form? Nope. And apparently they don't care that we are little tiny bots. Or very nano machine looking humans. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, let's have a poke around. Let's see what we can see. Um, I don't think there's really going to be much here, is there? Uh, just a couple things to go into and check around, huh? Eh? Neat little entry area for no particularly good reason. Well, I don't know that we fully kind of explored the initial area with our our new abilities. So, maybe we'll take a poke around the early area and see what we can see. Like, hey, there's a little tiny bit here. That is worthless. Very good. 
I do miss being able to huck my little tiny bot up a short distance, though. Like, I do miss that. Um, I guess we can go to some of these marked areas, too. Like, presumably I needed an item or an ability in these places that I marked on the map that perhaps now I have presently. But it's really hard to tell. Okay, we're pretty close to that one there. Let's go check that one out. <laughs> Nothing impresses them. Right? Like, you would think, being a little tiny, weak, soft, flesh and blood human, that they would be a little bit more impressed by a nanomachine cyborg. But apparently they are not. They are just perpetually unimpressible. Absolutely, they have seen everything in this weird world. Um, but hey, whatever. That's their that's their right, I suppose, to be unimpressed. And it's my right to make fun of them for it. Oh, hey, we might actually... Can we get up there now? We might be able to get up there. Uh, we might not be able to get up there. Uh, oh my goodness. No, we can't get up there. Alright, let's go around. Maybe we can go around. Okay, yeah, here. Did we need, like, an earthquake thing to get this? Oh, it's, it's up there. There we go. Uh, oh, but it's up there. Shit. <laughs> so I probably need to come down from above, maybe? Or otherwise get up there? Ah, see, that's unassailable. We'd have to come at it from the right. That looks like a little nano juice capacity thing. I don't think we can get up there. Even in, in our big, climby human form, we can't get up there. Because we can't climb that. Hmm. Well, that stinks. Okay. That is as of yet unassailable. No problem. Um, what about going over here? I kind of wish the fast travel was a bit faster. Like, I get that we're literally being deconstructed and reconstructed, but you'd think they could make that go a bit quicker. Alright, what was... Was there anything of value up around? Oh, ouch. Yeah. Ow. Okay, it's fine. I don't remember when we were full human if that zapped us or not. I don't think it did. Not like it matters, because there's literally nothing around there. Okay, um, can we wiggle our way down to the bottom there? I think, or wait, was that where we were trying to go last time? And we got super distracted by shit? I don't remember. I don't remember now. Seem to recall there being an earthquakey bit there. We can't get up there. That's wild. All right, maybe we can get up there as a little tiny bot. Oh no, we can't because we can't grip a, a non-sharp corner. Apparently, not like it matters. We don't want to go up there anyways. I think we were going over here. Oh, that was weird. Why did that just suddenly... Eh, whatever. Oh, right, because I think I went this way and then I went up. And then I got distracted by something else, I think. Or I opened that. And I didn't bother, you know, doing whatever else, right? Quick refill here, I guess. So I think I might have traveled over here and then got distracted by something else. Oh, right, that was where the weird water worm thing was. 
We don't want to be there. We already did that whole dance. Unexplored territory. Or just another entrance into already explored territory, I guess, huh? Hmm. Okay. But I guess I wanted to come down here anyways to invest the Mac to this spot. I think I might have been over... Oh, right. This is the weird spot that we don't have uh, enough horizontal travel or something to get over there. So there's the weird outcropping, and we were like, oh, well, maybe we're blah, 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 and then nothing ever came of it. Um, I would, actually, if this guy could turn around, thank you, I'd like to see if we could commandeer him. Sure. Yeah. He's an ally. Okay. Oh, I was hoping we could stand on him or something. Alright, that's a big old nope. And then we tried our best to kind of rope up here, or grapple up or whatever, and it just didn't work. Because we're so tiny. See, it looks like it, we should be able to, right? Like, we're just barely catching the corner on that, but, nah. And that was the... That's right, that was the sick-ass sword that was up there. Okay, well, we're not getting that yet, I guess. No matter. Okay, there's another spot we can check out just over here. Oh, no, wait. This had a, a weird little... A weird little thing that we can't do anything about, unfortunately. Alright, what can we do? Find him, sure. Doesn't do much, does it? Okay, right, because this little thing, whatever this is, is ow, unassailable. Thing over there that I don't think we can get to either. Although there's this whole little thing here too. Um, okay. Well, let's make our way over there anyways. Um, well, can we actually traverse this? It's like no. Alright. Let's so go up here. Gotta get over that direction eventually. That's where our next little map marker is. gets us here, and I think they just unlock that door. So we've got a shortcut of sorts, I suppose. And then there's this, which, right, we can't get to because it's blocked from the other side. Alright, well, I'll mark that for later. That might be something we have to maybe go over here for. Or, I think alternatively, I was waiting to see if we could get Oh no, that's like double our current radius. Never mind. But there was a gate, I think, that was like very, very close to what we could do. And we just needed a slightly 
larger hack radius to make it work. I forget where that was now. Oh well. Oh wait, that that block looked a little oh, okay, no. Like there's that block in the lower right that looks very suspicious, but we don't have a means of doing anything to it, really. Okay. Unfortunate. <sighs> Trying to get our butts over there. Or... We could just go here. trying to get up there, but I don't know that I could even with even with like a, a perfect jump and then a transform and then a little grapple. I don't know that we can do that. That was close. I don't even know if that corner is grapplable. Seems like it would be. This one probably is. Yep, that one is. No problem. Hmm. Okay, that one is still a little bit unassailable. So we just don't have... Oh, or I could just do that. That's fine, too. <laughs> I, I... Okay, cool. I mean, there's still a there's still a path up there that I want to get to, but at least we got the ability point. How many do we have now? Five. Holy balls! All right. Um, I think I wanted at least three for a range, right? To go get whatever door that was. Uh, but okay, so that's a that's an issue over there still. Um, that one we can't get to because we need a little extra jump or vertical thing, right? This one we did not check on our way down. Let's go over here, I guess. Oops. I mean, eventually it's going to come down to just checking every gap on every side of the map that we know we can kind of make our way over to. That's usually how these types of games go. Like, oh, where do I go next? Well, how about that spot on the map that leads off the edge there? Oh yeah, that's probably it. Check this out for one reason or another, yeah. Oh, I think it's because it was a boss fight and we didn't yet have our, uh. Did not yet have our form. Our form back. Did it. He's a, a very loud exploder, holy shit. Um, but we did it, and we got probably two more two more skill points. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of skill points. Do we have anything to be like jump higher? <laughs> now you can jump higher? No, here's not. Charge time, melee speed, melee damage, various hacky bits, uh, combat damage and shit, and then health. Eh. Nothing, uh... 
terribly exciting there, unfortunately. Uh, but now we can undo the reminder here. But in theory, there's going to be something over here that we could have gone for immediately, even without fighting that fucker. And hey, look at that. It's a big... Hammer? Battle axe? Something. Let's see what we got. Double axe. Two-handed axes. Slow but power. 53 damage. That is pretty powerful. All right. Do we have to... Okay, now we can swap these out if we want to. Well, that's not that slow. That seems pretty judiciously fast for being described as slow. Um, can I get some info on... 40 damage. 53 damage. And about 150% of the cooldown. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna stick with that. Seems cool. Not necessarily progression related, but seems cool. Alright, what else we got here? Um, well, the other closest bit would be... Well, I can't get up there. Can't get there. Probably around here. Yeah, it looks like there's a path up, up and off to the left there, so let's check it out. Despite being precisely opposite of the direction we should be going. Or, rather, the direction the game is telling us to go. Okay, look, that's just straight up blocked off. Alright, what about down here, though? Stop me from going down here? No, you aren't. Oh. I think I might have just seen this thing and fucked off. Um, can I jump on you, perchance? No. Hmm. Yeah, there's not much... wasn't much happening there. Looks like there's a note here. That's nice, but I can't get to it. Because there's no, like, actual climbable path up there. Looks like there might be a... No, never mind. There's going to be, like, a fall-down spot there. That was nothing, unfortunately. Oh, and that's just a straight-up wall. Okay. Cool. Oh, right, and there's this... Lamasu? Lamasu, right? That's what this dude's name was. Hey, fucker, I'm a nanomachine person now. Oh, I can't even talk to him anymore. He fucked off. Okay. Very good. Um, wasn't there, like, a little tiny bit in here? Yeah, right there. Maybe we can do something about this, huh? Eh? Eh? No? Boo! Well, next choice is maybe this thing here. Head off to the left. See what we can see. Oh, it's all glitchy and shit. All right. Ah, but we can't see anything. Jeez. Jerks. There's definitely something up. There's definitely something up with this, but we can't do nothing about it. Right, this was the murder beam we got tricked into.
Can't remotely activate it, can we? How did wait? How did this work before? Oh, we might have hucked our mini drone over there to activate the thing, which got our body stolen. Right, 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 right. Okay, never mind. Well, we can't do that no more. So that's a bummer. something else we already got okay Gap or something over there. Did we check this one already? Yeah. Oh, right. That was the weird thing with the two horse fields and the thing in the top that we couldn't get to. Uh, okay. Looks like there might be something over there we can get to now. Definitely can't get over here. bunch of weird mimic blocks and shit. <laughs> oh, wait, that pops me back up here? All oh, right, I guess I didn't take the save at the other one. Well, no matter. It's not enough to just stroll on past it to activate it. You actually have to be like, hey, save my game. Can I, actually? Hey, there we go. Oh, it's force fielded. <laughs> you jackasses. Okay. Well, that's unassailable too, huh? Hmm. Well, that's all of the obvious. Well, except for this down here, maybe. All of the obvious gaps in the map. A few exceptions of places that we almost certainly cannot get to, like over here. Uh, well, climb up over there, perhaps. Although, no, I might have mistaken terrain for non-climbable bits here. Crap. Yeah. So I don't think going up 
up over that way is going to be possible. Guess we'll see. Very clearly glitch thing here too. Yeah, can't do nothing about it though. Not just yet. Get up over that. And this just sneaks our butt under this dude. And that dude. Although, there is the breach area, right? I suppose we could take a dip in there and see what we can see. And there's also this. Uh, which I guess gets us on this opposite side. Okay. Never mind some stuff to look at here. Will it be a value? It will not, because it just pops us down here. <sighs> Nuts. Gets us map coverage at the very least, I suppose. Ooh. All right, let's go in here and see what we got. Like maybe some of the earlier breach areas we can do something with now. So we got the whole grapple hook screw attack thing. Ah, see now this feels like we should be able to get up there, but the targeting is sort of automatic and sort of not. Jerks. Okay. Except I'm not even 100% sure where we would need to go here. I guess we can go down. Let's see what we can see here. Oh, <laughs> I get another skill point. All right. Go down here, I guess it's brand new. Oh. I can't get to. <laughs> It's all blocked off and shit. All right. Oh, unless... Oh, come on, that would have been a fucking good goof. Allowing us to go through this pipe here. Oh, that would have been good. Damn. Mm. All right, now that, that looks like that is 100% locked off, unless... Hey, yeah, stay right there, buddy. Oh, I can't do anything with them. Nuts. Of course it wouldn't be that easy, would it? Huh, okay. Well, maybe this particular breach is no good. Maybe we can go over to one of these other ones, then. Oh, and I've got shit marked in here, too. Uh, alright. Let's check out these. This one I remember that we could go down through this pipe here. Not that I think that's terribly useful or important, but it is nice. Okay, something down here. Oh, this was the other side of the door. I think that's why I marked this. Okay. Never mind. That is a pretty cool effect, though. I do like that. I'm a 
fan of me some chunky ass pixels. And these are some pretty chunky ass pixels. Oops, I didn't want to go down here though. I actually follow us to the right. Maybe this was the door we could just barely... Oh no, this is the weird goop friend. Right. Can I... do something with this? No. It's like weird and goopy and shit, but... Yeah, okay. That's still kind of an unknown. There's a bit up there that perhaps we can get up. Can we climb up there now that we've got... Uh... Or maybe the more, more obvious thing is over here, right? There's a path down to the bottom there. There's a path up out the top, which is probably locked off by a, a force field. Okay, let's go over here. I feel like this is one of the earliest breach areas we were in. So with our new abilities, we will not be able to do anything here because this is a blocked off force field thing. Okay, that would have been too easy. Oh, and that's also blocked off from the top. Okay. Never mind. Nothing to do there. Um, did we check this one already? I think we did. Looks like we've got another blocked off door here. I did not mark. Might have been where we kind of first got the uh, grapply bits here. Ow. Oh, so we need to go back down, anyways. So locked out. Okay. Ah, of course. It's a big health thing. Well, can't do anything about that either, huh? Ugh, that's annoying. I have a feeling like that's an actual checkpoint over there. That if we could just highlight that map square, we might be able to fast travel to. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, come on. Fucking tease? Alright, well, that's no good. Oh, looks like there's an open bit down there. Okay. <laughs> right? Stupid fucking free 20% damage. And we can't ever get it. <laughs> Such a fucking terrible thing to do to somebody. Uh, oh no, it's a fucking locked off here too! Ah. Uh, oh no, and there's an ability point there as well. Well, son of a... Okay, maybe we can climb our way up to there. Who knows? Let's try it from the other side. Like, that particular room in Monolith is worse when you're not playing on Sudden Death. Just by sheer percentages, right? Because if you're playing on 
uh, uh, non sudden death. If you're playing on normal, you start at 100%. So 20% of 100% is a, a much higher proportion, obviously. That's just math. Oh, hey, there we go. We can get through here. Yeah, screw attack. But when you're playing on sudden death, you already start at 300%. So 20% of 300% is you know, lower proportionally, right? Okay. Oh, all okay. right. We were able to get around to one of them. That's good. I already forget what was up here. <laughs> okay, an ability point. Very good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're playing Sudden Death Oko, like, absolutely, they better give you something to deal with it. If you were at normal-ass damage for that, like, whoosh. That would be a rough, that would be a rough go of things. Okay, so now we've got a place that we can be. Totally new place now. Uh, we might be able to bump our butts up over to there. Now. See that, have you ever played Devil May Cry Hell or Hell <laughs> I have not. I have, in fact, never played any of the Devil May Cry series. That was, um... The start of that series was slightly before my ability to pay for games. <laughs> and I believe... Was that a... Was that a PlayStation thing, right? I was never... I was not a PlayStation person. It's very much a Nintendo person. Oh, hey, look at that! Our big-ass health thing. We got more health, I think. Excellent. Well, there's still a thing up there that I'd like to go visit. <clears throat> yeah, they are your Oko, but enemies are not and set to their highest difficulty. Oh my god. That sounds awful! Why would somebody do that to themselves? Says a person who frequently does that to themselves. <laughs> uh... It's so funny. I'm a son of a bitch, why is everything locked off of the force field? Ugh. Alright, whatever. Oh, hey, cool. Another skill point. <sighs> Alright, well now we've got like... Nine skill points or whatever, right? We can probably spend some- ten skill points! We can probably spend some of these. Uh, let's do more melee damage. And also... Oh man, all these are really expensive now, unfortunately. I'm gonna get the range before I forget to get the range. And... Uh... Maybe we'll leave it at that. We'll save up for a bit. <laughs> Of course. I am I am no one if not a man of contradictions. <laughs> uh, it's just too funny. Alright, uh, where the fuck are we now? That's blocked off by a force field. That's blocked off by a force field. That's blocked off by a force field. Um, that scoopy friend that we don't know what to do with. Um, this up here is blocked off by a force field. I don't think we can get any higher over here. Uh, that's blocked off by a force field. Um, there's no other obvious exits, I say, as I notice an obvious exit. Okay. Okay, okay. Apparently there's something off to the left here. Oh, which is also blocked off by a force field. Fucking... <laughs> Damn it! Ah! The best laid plans... ...of mice and tiny nano-machine robot things.
Um, well, there seems to be an exit off to the left here. Or off to the right here. Ah, which is, of course, is clearly blocked off by a force field. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Come on! Ah. Uh. Shit. Ah, uh, okay, fine, whatever, we'll go back up. Here's a breach exit, which is fine, but not what we want yet. Well, I guess it's not gonna matter. Like, here's clearly an important little block, right? But we can't do nothing about it. Not hackable, not nothing. Alright. Perhaps something we need another ability for. <sighs> Okay, is there anywhere else in the breach we can possibly go whilst we're in here that isn't blocked by a force field or other, like that one? Let's head over here for a hot minute. We started actually. I'm not 100% sure any of this is gonna be particularly useful. There is something up there! A doorway we cannot get to. Um, well, actually, maybe that's not true. Maybe we can get there. We go all the way around. But even so, I don't know if getting there would even be helpful. There's the there's the exit. Well, an exit. And that goes goes up further that we can't do anything with. Can I? Uh, I can't swap to my human form in here. Okay. Right, 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 right. Um. Hmm. We may have exhausted our options in the breach. Except for this, perhaps. That looks like there's a little thing there. In before it's blocked by a force field. Ugh. Okay, go up there. Oh no, look at that. It's just a wide open door. Okay. Well, what do we got here? Literally nothing. Okay, uh, it's, it sounds a little glitchy, though. So, alright, there's something here. But we don't know what. Oh, okay, it's like a little glitchy right here. Ain't nothing to be done, though. Hmm, okay. Well, unfortunate. Okay, anything else we can do that's not blocking us off? No, all of this is pretty well sealed in now. Okay. Well, what's the closest exit? Probably here. Well, I guess we got another little health bip out of it, so that's something. Hmm, but no, 
now what? Looks like we might be able to get over here. No, that's a that's a wall. Never mind. Um, there might well there might be a path here then. Head on off to the upper left there. Yeah, there we go. <gasps> New music too. Oh, that's fancy. I do like the soundtrack here. The soundtrack's great. Like 100% great. What it is? The Lamasu. Oh, that's where this fucker went off to. Okay. Hey. Hey, what's up? Decided to stop trying to kill me? Did the Lamasu ever try to kill us? I don't remember. I guess I'll say yes. That directive must still remain. Recent events have caused another directive to take priority. Oh, good. I'm glad something else besides killing me has jumped to the number one spot. What do we got? Marshal Lama taking my body? Huh? Yeah. Ha. <laughs> Uh, the most more troublesome arms. The wielders defeated the Udug. It was necessary to restore and rebuild society to how it was prior to their introduction. Okay, yeah, going back. Great. The wielders compli complied faithfully, and Mashilama and her wielder resisted, creating a new conflict. Complied faithfully. <laughs> that they were killed themselves? I'm gonna guess yes. I'm gonna guess yes. Destroyed is perhaps more apt. Oh, great. <laughs> Nothing less than a storm bomb can completely dismantle the arms. Nanotech. Okay. So much wanted to nuke herself and she declined. Hmm. Yeah, wow, tough choice. Uh, so you and I have some common cause. I have reason to believe she is heading for the suspension bridge at sector 3326. Destroy her and I will endeavor to return you to your human form. How about you return me to my human form first? This feels like a poor deal. No, that's it. That's the end of the conversation. Okay. <laughs> All right, so what was it, 33 something? Okay, get over there. Well, that's slightly closer, I guess. There's also this thing over there, but I don't, like I already can't get over to this whole fucking quarter of the map. Like, what do you want me to do? All right, whatever. Take a, take a, whoa, Jesus, okay. Uh, well, Size doesn't matter, apparently. <laughs> Get wrecked, idiot. And also give me more ability points. We're probably going to be told later that, oh, these things were just defending whatever they were supposed to defend. How dare you attack them first type thing. Uh, I'm almost certain that's going to be the big reveal later on. Oh, alright, so now we've got tanks and shit. That's fun. Another little glitchy bit. Oh. Jumpy ass spider. What your fucking. Dang it. Yes. <laughs> Jumpy ass spider things. A doorway we can't get to. Well, actually, no, that's not true. Maybe. Eh. Okay, doorway we can't get to. Okay, and just a room with a thing, huh? Cool, I guess? Uh, okay, can we... Uh... Okay, that doesn't really do much for us, does it? Can we stand on this? We can. Does that do anything for us? It does not. Okay, can't get up there. 
Ow. Ow. Nice. Ugh. Trick asses with their weird jump arcs. Okay, well, we're headed presumably west here. Or video game west, I suppose. Ow! Fucking stop! <laughs> yeah, oh, you little. Aw. <laughs> oh no, we're all the way back here. What the hell? Ugh. Okay, well, I suppose this was a pretty obvious, hey, go this way, idiot type thing, huh? Like a very clear gap in the map. A very clear blank section that we haven't been. Etc. But the place it told us to go is no more accessible than the previous place, so... Uh, can we talk to this thing again, or...? Is it just gonna blink its lights? It's just gonna blink its lights, so it's fine. I'd really like to climb up here, but I cannot gain. Oh, well. <laughs> cannot gain the verticality. Immediately gains the verticality. Oh, hey, look at that thing. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, it's another health bit. That seems good. Well, a little tiny health bit, I guess. One of five required, yeah. Oh, and it's a uh, five. All right. Good. Okay. <laughs> Just in weird Xmas tree mode. I mean, yeah. One man's weird Xmas tree mode is another man's. Uh, Weird Hanukkah mode? I don't know. I don't know, man. How you doing, Dave? Good to see you. Alright. Weird glitchy bit that we can't do nothing about. Oh, there is a thing over here. Well, why the fuck didn't it return me to there? Oh, right, because I didn't explicitly activate it. Or maybe I died before getting to it. Who knows? Who knows with this game? Well, I'll make a point to save here just in case. Huh? Hmm. Oh, right, because I ate shit to this idiot. Damn it. So fast. All right. Uh, not really much over there otherwise. Hmm. Had your COVID booster today, and you're starting to feel it. I can relate, buddy. I had mine uh, last Wednesday. No, last Tuesday. And it hit me immediately on Wednesday. So I understand how you're feeling. And it sucks. It really does suck. But probably better that she got it than not having gotten it. That's the way I would like to look at it. Oh, hey, another human, presumably. Another human, <laughs> presumably. Ah, Ivan, very good. You look strange. Are you, you are from Jonestown. I mean, I look strange because I'm a weird fucking nanomachine human looking motherfucker, all right? Don't judge. And then it comes through here. I know I look weird. Nanotech did this to me. I guess you are with the Kazakhs. Strange machines all over here. Watch out. Yeah. Hey, Drushka took other Kazakhs through the breach into the next world, past the breach. Even stranger there. They're crazy, so you stay here. All right. Well, good luck, Ivan, I guess. In another world, I don't blame you. See another woman come through here besides me? You know, a. Uh, a more human looking woman looks about my build you know 510-ish I would guess maybe 160 see many many strange things robot monster trap Sai, but not woman okay eh, thanks Ivan <laughs> ha 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 all right okay uh, well into the water we go good thing we don't need to breathe the ocean continues on for miles and miles. I suppose I could just keep going until I get to the other side, but I'm not gonna do- What do you mean I'm not gonna do that? What if I wanna do that? Oh, that's no fun. 
fucking bitch game telling me what I can and can't do. Then why let me walk all the way over there if you're just not gonna let me? Piece of shit. Whatever. Okay, well, what else can we do then? Let's so try to climb up over there. Alright, did I climb up here and then just not... Oh, wow. I didn't really notice the background here. That's kind of pretty. Are we in some sort of... Are we on the inside surface of a Dyson Sphere or something? That looks pretty neat. There's some bits we can climb on here. Mm, sir, could you float over here? Oh no, is this a platform? This is a platform. Alright, sir, could you uh, be a platform, please? Thank you. Um, well, no, that's not how <laughs> Never mind, sorry. Can you cease being a platform? Oh, no. Uh, all right. I'm going to go off the screen to the left and hope that he returns to not being a... Damn it. Okay, what if I, uh, warp to this thing? So I would ideally like to use that thing to be a platform to climb up a little bit higher. Oh, it is still a platform. All right, um, sir, could you um, could you move over here, please? No, okay. Um, all right. Well, we'll see what we can do otherwise, then. Okay, looks like we can still climb up here. All right, never mind. We didn't need him. As it turns out, we did not need him. Uh, no, not right there, though. Uh, how about right about... There's fine. Reading from Aansur. What is the nature of Aansur? The Spadix. Spadix? Spadix? Which birthed the fruit of Kingir, Ingur, and countless other lands. For your answer, look at the Lamasu itself. Claims to answer to justice. Pfft, yeah, right. But what justice was there in the farce. Whoa! Shit's getting glitchy. Uh, in the farcical escalating war. Oops. I wanted to scroll. <laughs> I wanted to scroll, not exit. Um. There we go. No, 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 farcical escalating war with the Udug, who would never have brought to bear the storm bombs were it not for Lomasu's arm. Claims to be ethical, <laughs> but what ethic explains the ripping of mind from mortal body and then rewarding that sacrifice of betrayal and death? Boy, yeah, that's ethical, all right. Uh, it claims to be wise, but how can there be wisdom in repeatedly substituting one conflict with an even worse one? Okay, I, th I think I see the pattern here. Uh, Ansur was the true evil all along, the source of everything that has destroyed our society. It is where Lamasu hid the only thing that might remediate the suffering of the arms, the, si the Siuna. Okay. Truth is, we are above Ansur. It he used us as tools to achieve its ends because it has little agency of its own. It's time for us to take our rightful place as lords of our own lands. Hell yeah! Fucking manifest your own damn destiny, right? Uh, we must march on Ansur. We must claim the Siuna. Uh, si Sorry. And if necessary, we must burn it all to the ground. I mean, nuke it from orbit, it's the only way to be sure. Uh, ba -da -ba -da, on behalf of... Oh no, no, Amashalama is the one who stole our body. Ah, okay. Like, I'm having second thoughts about the the intent of this passage, then. Boo. Alright, now let's see what else we got up here. Besides weird laser owls. 
Uh, okay. Oh, ow! Hey, no! Ah! Ow! Off! Fuck off, laser owl! Come here, yeah. Okay, sir, I would like you to go, like, right there. Seems good, I guess. Hell yeah, right there is perfect. Thank you. Oh, there's another little save point thing down there, too, huh? That's even more perfect. Now we can get up there to play. Whoa! Mimic blocks! Excuse me. Fuck out my face, thank you. block here that we can't do nothing about just yet. Mm. Alright, this goes pretty oh pretty high up. the first anniversary of the invasion of Enger. A battle that will surely be recounted for ages to come. On that day, our bravest warriors, led by the all-powerful wielders, <laughs> thank you, made the first push into the watery caverns of the Udu. Shocked to find a world as dark as it is vast, many fell that day, but we nevertheless held strong, driving our foes back with the holy powers granted by the gods. Uh, okay, sure. Raise a chalice to our heroes, alive and fallen alike. May the gods be with them. Alright, well, you know, I'm all about raising a glass. That's fine. Like, I can get behind that sentiment, so cheers, I guess. Mm. Good shit. Good shit. Okay. This didn't really get us anything fruitful other than some more lore, which I guess is a reward unto itself. Oh. Oh, and a thing. What's this? Pink nanoshades. Allows you to see into the breach and enter hidden breach portals. Hey! All that weird fucking... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, all that weird, uh, the glitchy shit. Oh, hey, look at that. We can go in the weird glitchy shit that we couldn't see before. All right. Neat. Awesome. That's sure to be helpful. Wait, is it saying that there's a thing down there? No, there's not. Okay. Ah, uh, shit. Wait a minute. Okay, I guess we can only go down from here. Well, there's the exit already. I don't want to do that. Ow! Whoa! Jeez, sir! Excuse me. Yeah, huh? Yeah, let's try it. Oh, damn. Actually, wait. Can I, uh... I can't do anything. Huh? Ugh. And of course I can't grapple onto that, can I? Of course I can't. Uh, Alright, I'll come back. Oh, I'm sure we can't get up there either. Can't grapple a non 90 degree corner. Uh, Alright, out we go. Shit. So now. So now we can go back to all those weird glitchy bits that we knew were glitchy. But, uh, we couldn't do nothing about, because they were hidden. Now 
now is open to us. Let's finish exploring this area. We'll go around to everything, every place that was like a little staticky and shit. Do our fancy whatevers, reveal it, go into a breach or whatever. looking ass motherfucking nano machines here. Drone can hover by pressing and holding jump in the air. Oh nice. Okay, we get like one one tile of boost there. Maybe a tile and a half. That's kinda cool. And like a lot more horizontal. That's good. Oopsie. All right, neat. So we've got some slight vertical and more horizontal to us. Okay. And if which is that bit there, I guess maybe not. Maybe not. Ability point. Cool. Skill point. Whatever. Okay, yeah, now we're on the opposite side there, so that one's clear. That might get us the fancy sword now, actually. We've got some horizontal movement to us. Hey, Street Lundar, how you doing? Good to see you. Okay, so this opens up more than we might have thought. Played this before? No, this is our first playthrough of the old Axiom Verge 2. Oh, save point. That's nice. That's nice and cool. Um, kind of a weird spot for it, but okay. I have played Axiom Verge 1. So we know sort of the basic premise. Ow, motherfucker. There's definitely plenty of new shit here. That, uh, it may as well have been a new game, right? Well, 
ability point. Good. Being thorough. Hey, so. Oh, it was a big one, too. Nice. Okay. Well, medium, I suppose, but... Two points is two points. I ain't gonna sneeze at that. Hmm. <laughs> eh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Little shitter. Trying to catch me there. Fuck off. Save point there, another door. Good. Sorry, excuse me, what? What was that? Uh... Hmm. Okay. Weirdo invisible block, that's fine. Ugh. You little shit. Edge guarding little bitch. Naturally. Okay. Just kind of cycle around to the other side. We sure did. Okay, that's fine, actually. Um, I guess we'll keep growing. Oh, 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 easy. Okay. All right, this is where we got. to be able to get over there now. Oh, we were always... Yeah, okay. And then the next... Yeah, now we can go to... Ow! Motherfucker! Yellow? Shit. Do your best Jaws impression somewhere else, purple fuck. Ah! There's one there too. Good. Another two pointer. Okay. Oh, and now we're getting to the opposite side of this, huh? Yeah, all right. Now that's open to us. That one's done. I don't think we could get any higher over here, could we? Doesn't look like there's necessarily anything up there either. <clears throat> it's just open-ass space. Oh, but we can, right, we can float up there now. All right. Yeah. Oh, oh, yep. Empty. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, power battle in the west wall. Oh, uh, back here? Let's go check it out. And since we're here and all, we as well get everything that we can. West wall. Oh, west wall. Duh. Okay, right. Never eat shredded wheat. West wall. Mm. 
Oh yeah, so there is. Look at that. Good eye. Now, how do we get that motherfucker? Uh. Hmm. Okay. I think we have managed to get ourselves up here. Be an entrance down below, perhaps? Yeah, that looks suspiciously like a thing we can get up into. There's definitely a corner there we can latch onto. It's probably a diagonal, though, so we can't exactly get through there. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I'm sure, one of these is hiding a. A thing that we should be able to get through but cannot. Ah, like right there. Okay, that is taking a page out of Axenberg 1's book. Very good. Thank you. Good eye. Good eyeballs on that one. Very similar to the coloration of the level, so I'm not surprised. I totally ignored it. Um, okay, that should be the entirety of this area for now. And given our newfound uh, sort of glitchy hidden powers, we can go over to here. I think our little goo friends was by this little sort of glitch thing, leading us to believe it was in fact our goo friend that was doing the thing, but it was not. It was in fact this. Alright, so that leads us back out. Oh, to this opposite side. Okay. Um, what does that yield? Oh, another two bits of ability points, I guess. Okay, that's several points that we have now. Uh, behoove us to power up a little bit, huh? Let's go for charge speed, melee damage. Uh, So this is getting really expensive. Maybe projectile speed, that's really cheap. And melee speed. Okay, that's slightly faster, I guess. Points well spent. Um, okay. Well, knowing what we know now, we've done that one. Um, was this a little glitchy thing over here, too? Oh, right, we can't can't warp into or out of the breach. We must be in there first. Before we can warp around. Oh, and now it's permanently revealed. That's good. That's good, actually. I feel like most of the things in the breach now are hidden glitchy points that we couldn't get to earlier. Yeah, hey, look at that. Oh, hey, look at that. Alright, I think this might have been just the marker from the overworld now. Uh, except there is still... Oh, wait, there's... Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that just reveals the breach behind it. I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, I don't... Oh, but that's still the sword up there. Okay, you know what? Um, we're gonna get that. I want that sword. Um, this is probably the closest one here. I 
If we're not gonna make very much lore progress or whatever, I will at least advance our base stats and our stabby abilities. Uh, maybe, okay, maybe that one's not closer. Maybe this one's actually closer. Did not factor in the amount of jumping around I'd have to do. And now, since we have a... Uh... A good horizontal traversal ability, staying as a drone, is probably the wiser bit here. Alright, what do we got here? A sickle sword. Trades damage for speed. I don't know, 35 damage seems pretty good. Hell yeah. All right, that's a that's a more reliable hitbox, I think. So we'll try that out for a bit. Huh, okay. Well, now we've got a whole bunch of points of interest to revisit. Most of which will probably be within the breach anyways. That was, well, maybe some of these will be revealed with our breach scanning thing anyways. So, all right, let's take another pass around the world here. Reach shit, but oh hey look at that. <laughs> okay, so it's not necessarily just breach, but it does show us some hidden passages and shit. Hey, another reserve tank. Okay, cool, cool and good, I guess. Uh, all right, let's go back up there. Oracle of Ages, yeah. Yeah, I get you. Oracle of Ages, Oracle Seasons, you know, stuff like that. Does feel a little bit like that, doesn't it? Which you know is not altogether unexpected, I suppose. We're already in some weird parallel universe shit. May as well just lean into it. Oh, no, this was just a straight-up door. Never mind. That one, I think, was just a platform. Uh, that one was a weird jump that we couldn't make. Uh, well, that might be a saleable up there. Let's do our weird little breach scan thing. See what we can see. Oh, hey, our human friend got a little tired. I was just kind of sitting down, and like, ah, eh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I got tired of standing. You don't want whatever you've got, okay? Uh, feeling a little, a little sick, okay? Fine, you know, it's fair. Pandemic and all that. Uh, where was I going? Right over here. Oh. Wait, no. Up. Up one, idiot. And start across. Oh. Actually, no, I don't think... Well, now maybe I can get there. With my new hover ability. Yeah, there we go. So many new things we can do now. 
Yeah, look at that. It's a... Uh... Oh, piece of heart. <laughs> Alright, cool. Takes care of that. Um... Maybe we can do that bit, too, actually. Combination of hovering and going back to our humanish form and climbing the walls and all that shit. Maybe we can do that. Feels like there's a very complicated way to do this. That perhaps. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay. I feel like we can do this with the equipment we have now. Ah! Well, not like that, of course, but. Oh, ooh, what was that? Told me no. No, you will not transform now. Ah! Come on, I did this once. I was able to kind of get my butt over there. There, like that. There we go. Like that. Oh no! <laughs> Damn it! Why does every game have a stamina meter? Fuck. Ah, jeez. Come on, I, I believe in our ability to do this here. that, and then like that, and then like that. There we go. No! Ah, shit, fuck! <laughs> we can do this. We can do this. Gonna go down there. That, that. Oh, hey, yeah, perfect. <laughs> exactly as intended. Oh, boy. Alright, what is this? this? Is it gonna be nano juice? This is shell. Jeez, that's a word. Shell Sedoni? Shell Sedoni gemstone that fits perfectly within the compass. Cool. What does that mean? <laughs> no idea what that means or what that does, but we got it. That's cool. Um, alright. Well, with our little hover ability, then we've got so many things we can do. Maybe even get over there. Wouldn't that be fun? Uh. Hit. <laughs> okay, we'll get it. Easy peasy. Alright. Uh, we can definitely get down there now. But I don't know that that's gonna be anything. So we'll find out as soon as the screen transition happens. No. Pretty much nothing. Ah, it does show us where the um, breach exit is. That's neat. But ultimately, that turned out to be nothing. Now we should be able to float past this wall over here. Uh, or not. Ah, you little shitters. Okay. Can we instead then get up here and do it that way? Seems like we should be able to. 
Hell yeah, look at that. All right, we've escaped. I don't know what we've escaped to, but we've escaped and we've picked up some lore, okay. Let's see that. Every instant of time, every possible moment where one might observe a thing occurring, there should be a limitless possibility for what can then come. We can conceive of this. We, can, we expect this. Why did our ancestors believe in An, Enki, Enlil, and Inanna? Because such things should be possible. And yet they are not. Somehow, outside of our world, Kingir is another world, a bigger world, an answer. And from the moment we observed its existence, we became chained to it. Honk. Well, that's how uh, quantum mechanics works, right? As soon as you observe something. Uh, things we have learned cannot be unlearned. The only path forward is as a slave to the mother. Or is it? One must understand that of the infinite possible ideal worlds are infinite an answers. <laughs> I get it. Play on words. Each with a king gear tied to it. And then... And then are an infinite king gears that are free of answers. The solution? Every king gear that finds itself tied to an answer must destroy it. When this happens, there will be only be the king gears that are free. The memory of an answer will fade and fate will be ours again. Wow. Okay. Alright. I I don't get it, but okay. Oh, where the hell are we? Oh, we're down here now. Okay. Uh, cool. Well, we're outside the, the ruined walls, I suppose. See ya. Oh, hey, it's a helicopter. A very oddly shaped helicopter, but a helicopter. Damn, can we fly this thing? No, I guess not. Okay. Seems weird to find something like that up here. Oh, it's of course it's behind this damn wall. All right. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Well, that does not help our situation. Doesn't seem to hurt it either necessarily. Oh, all right. What do we got here? 10, 29 of 2049. Interesting. Okay. So, you know, just a hot 27 years later. Uh, I've been observing the entity the Sagiga referred to as the Lamasu, which we suspect is some form of AI that communicates through various terminals around Kingir. Similar to Ansible's into our portal to Antarctica, it appears to possess transworld properties of its own, raising the question of whether its mind is even located here or if it is actually broadcasting from yet another world. Ugh. Of late, I have been thinking about the apparent connection between the Lamasu's power usage and time flow in the breach. There's evidence that it was able to bring forth weapons and equipment beyond the technological capacity of the people here. How did it do that? Why would it do that? Why did it stop? Uh, E.H. Elizabeth Hammond, essentially, right? Okay. Alright. Cool. Uh, Elizabeth Hammond, etc. It, she, she lives. Oh, jeez. Well, we're falling. Okay. We are now down here. Uh, well, that's a very odd diagonal to have cut in that map. Shit. Alright, well, we found the thing. Good enough. Um, well, this is actually kind of good. I wanted to see if there was anything else around here we could get to. Which we can do. With our hidden powers. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't want to come back here. Son of a bitch. Ah. Nuts. Alright. Well, we've got a shortcut into that area, if that matters. going into the breach itself. I just wanted to see what the fuck that was. Uh, all right, well, uh, shoot. Can I... Okay, I 
think I can just warp back here. That should still be accept- oh right, the fucking door. Never mind. Shit. Fall back down from above again. Uh, I don't want to do that. Let's so just warp down here. So I really just want to take a look at this area in here. Before we actively go seek out the critical path again. Turns out to just be empty ship. I'd be a little bit upset. We got a reserve tank for what it's worth, I suppose. Ow! Just mimic bricks, get out of here. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I want uh... I want earthquake power. Go! Hey! Oh, we got the thing out of it too. <laughs> All right, very good. One more skill points. Very excellent. We did it. Okay. That's good. Um, still a little annoyed by the gap in the map over here. Maybe we can fix that. Well, well maybe we can't, actually. Cause I don't know that I can... Eh. Oh, yes I can. Nice. Alright. There was anything up there to begin with, actually. Well, maybe we can pull this off. Eh! No, we only float up like a tile and a half, though. Ugh. Okay, looks like it was a dead end up there anyway, it's alright. Um. Well, shit, we would have to land about here from above the middle of these two tiles float over to the right and then somehow get down there now that that's going to be worth anything maybe later we run out of things to do Bank on that being accessible, just going straight across here. And it is not right, because that's where we did Earthquake to get our shit, right? Okay, that's fine. I'm pretty sure they intended us to come up from here and go across to get it. But that's fine. Um, uh, alright. Knowing what we know, having what we have... I don't think... Was this blocked off by a force field? I don't think it was. I hope it wasn't. If it is, it's gonna be a waste of a trip. And if that's the case... Oh well! Ah, right. This. Okay, no, we can get this with our hover powers now. Yeah, baby. Okay. Ah, there's other force fields, <laughs> you bastards. Ah, uh, at least we've got a save point. Wait, it's me! My actual body! Fucking, give me my body back, you little shit! I want my body- yeah, exactly! You tell him! You tell him, Indra! I want my body back, asshole! You think you deserve it. Fuck it! It's my body! 
including Samurai like that. How could you? What, what the fuck? The hell? Wait, what are you? This is only my body, not my mind. What do you have my memories for, you little shit? Ugh. Well, good. If you can't stand being me, then give me my body back, you little bitch. <laughs> I expect killing you to be the most therapeutic. No! Hey! No, no, no! F you! Well, shit. Do I want to attack my own body, though? That seems counterproductive. But I guess we're gonna do it anyways. Also, I want whatever fucking sick energy whip she has. Oh, really? This is how we're gonna play it, huh? Can I use that? Can I use it and save here? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, I feel like this is a... Pro possibly a lost cause. <laughs> All right, hey, yeah, 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 you go. Oh, well, we can't escape here, though. I right, just listen to the soul that went with it. Nothing to see you know, old remedy. Oh crap! Ah, oh, you little coward! Get back here and fight! Oh, uh, I, I guess they went off to the right. Yeah, part of my mind's still alive inside here. This is very bad. No shit, it's bad. What do you mean about Samara? Uh, who's actually whose voice is that? Is that me? Long ago, it's far away for business. Oh, Samara's probably our daughter. That's probably the deal, huh? Yeah. Okay. Her teens. I haven't seen her since. Oh, sorry. I'm guessing we're supposed to be on the ground for this because the weird little child arm nano machine thing is probably talking to us. Parents were always off fighting in the war. Before I came in like this, I mean, it's me and my sister, but we understood. <laughs> it's, it's messed up what happened to you, kid. Yeah, hell yeah, it is. And after I get back home, we can do something about it. I don't know if that's possible. Thank you. Aw. We've got a heart. But also, that was a weird fight. But we did it. We made our way over to presumably Critical Path. And now we can do some things. Oh, oh God, we just can't do. Oh, but we regain our stamina, apparently, by uh, transforming to and from our little tiny drone thing. That's good information to have. All right, got a door here, switches over to the right. Oh, oh, is that another armor thing? Gimme. Strength is nanite bonds, reducing damage by 15%. Hell yeah. Love it. Oh, oh, excuse me. Wow, that is the slowest sniper in the world. <laughs> Good job, idiot. You did it. <laughs> oh, good gravy. Ow! Alright, well, I'm seeing doors, but I'm not seeing switch that controls them. There it is! Look at that! The switch that controls them. Alright, good. Hmm, okay. I see a little thing up there. Oh, no! Okay, uh... Lamasu, yeah, it's your weird little flashy pillar thing. Yeah, I know, thanks. Here we go, fighting a Lama just now. Seems neither of us can beat the other. What do you mean? I kicked her ass like three times. She had to reform thrice. And I had to reform... Nuns. Something about a Tsuna? Sweet... Tsuna. This is troubling. Tsuna are a powerful cache of weapons. In the past, she was obsessed with them. Normally, each arm was under the control of a wielder. <clears throat> Tsuna, on the other hand, were powerful corporeal forms that were... That made wielders redundant. Oh, honk. So if she gets a Siuna, can I have my old body back? Maybe. <laughs> it's too dangerous. Those of the Siuna were sealed to answer our mother world. Once she had them, her intention was use them to destroy it. I believe this would free our world. Uh, that's free in scare quotes sounds a little troubling. Is she wrong? If I should say destroying an answer would mean the destruction of this world and many others. Yeah, she's wrong. Okay. 
Seeing are so dangerous, why even have them? They were a contingency plan that was never needed. The cache was meant to be destroyed, but this did not happen. Hmm. Yeah. Let me guess, you want me to find it and finish the job? Conundrum, if I tell you where the Siuna are, how do I know you won't take them for yourself? I don't know, man. Like, I can't trust you, you can't trust me, but we've got a common enemy, so... What's one to do? What's one to do? If I don't tell you, who will, who will stop on my Shilama? That's a good fucking question, isn't it? All I want is to get the hell out of here. Compromise by giving you a location of just one. Use it to destroy a Mashalama, all the better. If not, nothing will have changed. Okay. I... Sure? Thank you? Uh, you can find it on your map, Sector 3816. 3816. Alright, pretty close. Pretty near. Not too far away. Wait, was our fancy drone thing always this admittedly pleasant shade of blue? I feel like we changed color recently, and I'm not 100% sure why. Oh, hey, we can get this. We can use our, our earthquake powers to get that. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, we're a shade of blue now, instead of just being gray. That's cool. A little bit of color never hurt nobody. Now the owls are invisible now? Come on, man. Okay, we're getting... Ability points left, right, and center here. How many we got now? Seven. That's a lot of ability points. Um, you know what? Let's get some more health. More health seems good. More health better than less health, etc. This opens this door. So we're good there. Okay. Good. 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 Actually, hold on a second. We should swap to our little hidden revealer power and use that judiciously. Ugh. Okay, just another little energy tank refill up there. Reserve tank refill type thing. Shit, now we're stuck down here, though. Oh, no, we're not. We just have to go around. Oh, hey, I see that little invisible owl. Get down here! Get down here and show yourself, you fucking coward. Yeah, uh-huh. You want some? Yeah, you want some of this. Get, get you some, idiot. Coward-ass coward. Why don't I get stealth technology? I'm nanomachines. I'm literally nanomachines. Too. May as well do it whilst we're in the area, right? Ah. Saw a little extra little bip up here. But I don't know that that necessarily means anything in our current state of affairs. Oh, we're underwater. Interesting. So in the non-breach, that's probably a thing over there. attack power at all? 
I guess I did, right? That's probably good. Considering how much combat we're doing with our drone now. Get up there. <laughs> it's tile and a half. Oh my god, just curl oh okay, we can that's right, we can grapple. Do my earthquake thing as a drone? I cannot. Alright, so clearly I can get over there. Oh, that must exist in both uh, breach and non breach then. It appears. Okay, I can deal with that later. Ooh, little health bit. Yep. Ah, figures. Uh, all right, so that's force fielded off there. save point there. Very obvious, not obvious, secrety secret. Another two ability points. Oh, another unique random machine thing, looks like. What we got here? Let's see, to exit the breach at any point. Hell yeah. That's pretty good, I guess and necessary at this point since they put us in here. Very good. <laughs> ah, okay, so now we're on the other side of this. Hmm, I see, I see. Okay, yep, now we're on the other side of the room. That was double force field blocked. Huh, this motherfucker. That tile looks familiar. Yeah, okay, it's a breach exit point. That's what those are. Okay, we're getting closer to where we need to be. 
That's good. Open whatever door that happens to be. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, I guess that must have been here. All right. Bounty list. Any rumored arms and other treasures from the apocalypse that were never found. Some I believe, some I do not, but here's all I've heard. Arm that would let the wielder turn into a mouse, I mean, more or less what we are right now. Arm that would allow an illiterate wielder to read. I... Sure? I guess we have that? An arm that can make people and animals fall ill. Ooh, that's kind of twisted. Arm that turns bronze into silver. Probably doesn't exist. Arm that lets a wielder shape and detach their body parts to use as weapons. Kind of wild. A talking mace? <laughs> Device that can make an arm fully control its wielder. Uh... Yes, we've seen that. That's the weird murder beam that we stepped into last time. You have the arms, I have the shekels. Bring them to me. Remember, when you find a sealed urn, no matter what you do, don't open it until I can check it out. Uh, guess what? We've been busting open every urn. I guess we're not gonna go visit Ugu and get money for arms. Oh well. What's this? Breach Attractor. Pulls Breach Portals towards you. Uh, intriguing, but also probably set up for exactly this point. Yeah, come down here. Hey, look at that. Ah, <laughs> uh, ha ha. Ha. Uh, that's funny. I don't... Like, I guess we want to go over there. That's going to be progression immediately. Critical path shit. Let's go, I guess. Why not? Have a look around. We'll have a short look around, and then it's getting kind of late, so we have to stop for the evening, but... Let's see what we have in here first. have been over here at one point, yeah? I guess so. Okay. Doesn't seem to have necessarily stopped us from... <coughs> Excuse me. Didn't necessarily stop us from anything, apparently. <coughs> Goodness. Excuse me. Ugh. Well... That seems a good point, and I need to stop then. We're in a pretty comfortable spot. We got some new abilities, got a new S word, and plenty of other places that we can check out. Come next time. All right, back to title we go. Yes, save my current progress, even though I just did it. All right, cool. Well, I'm glad we unblocked ourselves there by finding the critical path again, and some new abilities and shit. But that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CDT. We'll be back here with Axiom Verge 2. Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. CDT. will be Schmump Book Club. So more Scrambled Valkyrie or Kaikan or Gradius Gaiden. Um, Friday of this week is podcast. So twitch.tv slash Zero Hour Productions. Uh, we talk about video games news, what we've been playing, and we do some design at the end. So it's real fun. Uh, Saturday, we're going to... 
already call that we're going to be off because it's already a very, very, very busy week. Um, but then Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT, it'll be long play. We'll go back to Monolith for at least one more time. I feel like we're making some progress there. But that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.